There's a storm brewing in northern New Mexico, a feud of sorts between the sheriff and county leaders, because here, the sheriff and his deputies spend most of the time behind their desks. That's because they don't even have a way of getting around to patrol the streets. Let me get this straight. No one in the sheriff's department has a vehicle. They have their personal vehicles is what they use for their job and they have not been allocated a vehicle by the county of Los Alamos. You heard right. No one in the Los Alamos County Sheriff's Department has an official vehicle. Lucero's been trying to change that for five years, but says the county kept shooting him down. So he asked his former department, Santa Fe County, if they would donate an old car. Leaders there said absolutely. I do believe that he needs a vehicle assigned to him to do his official duties. Santa Fe County just handed the keys over to a 2010 Ford Explorer. You think that would be the end of the story, but it's not, because until Los Alamos County approves it, the sheriff can't use this car. County leaders say things here in Los Alamos are done differently. They say the sheriff here has very limited duties. He can only deliver warrants, confiscate property, or make sure sex offenders are registered. The county manager tells us those are the county rules and says the sheriff isn't even supposed to arrest people. The charter specifically excludes excluded duties for the sheriff uh, for the purpose of not duplicating services or expenses. So the sheriff can only perform duties that the police department does not otherwise perform. But Sheriff Lucero says that's nonsense. He says he's a licensed peace officer and says state law allows him to perform the same duties as any other cop. Meantime tonight, as far as that car donated by Santa Fe County, the council shot it down and says the sheriff can borrow another county vehicle from Los Alamos County. For Target 7, I'm Nancy Laughlin.